Holy fuck. My, I'm trying so hard not to allow my left foot to get a fucking cramp. Oh my god. Uh, the time right now is 5.15 in the morning and you are listening <laughs> to another What It Do at Audi's W2. Okay, so we're making progress. <laughs> this is, um, I believe my third day and it was half day. Um, and holy shit. Okay, first of all, I have a headache. My head is stuffy. I'm hot. Uh, my foot hurts. It's trying to cramp the fuck up on me. But we're not gonna let it. Um, (laughs) oh my god. Yeah, so, um, let me tell you something. Remember all those times when I said that I need to get my ass to the gym? Yeah, this was, this was it. I really need to fucking go back to the gym and just move around more. Um, okay, so, um, we had, like, a buddy system, right? Um, it was me and this girl, Christine, and, you know, we, we traded off, like, she got to scan the packages first, um, you know, I guess to align the number with the truck, and, oh my gosh, yo, I'm, I'm fucking hot right now. Um, but anyway, she was scanning and I was inside the truck organizing, like loading the truck. Um, the thing that worries me and I'm just going to be fucking straight up. Um, they're talking about like, there are going to be times where we have to load two trucks at a time, three trucks at a time. Um, they're like, oh yeah, like I've worked four trucks at a time. See, now that's kind of pushing it, right? Like, I mean, these fucking packages, they're not like Amazon Flex packages. They are not like Walmart Spark packages. These fucking packages are about the size of my furniture when I was shipping my own furniture. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, I'm a woodworker. I make furniture from scratch. I haven't done it in about a year or so. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I would use companies like this to ship my furniture to my customers. Or, I would deliver them myself. And, there's no fucking way in hell that I could do four fucking trucks by myself. And let me tell you. Um, I have little legs okay and i can't be hiking up you know um well it's just one large huge tall step to get inside these trucks um me having to go up and down these trucks right in and out of the truck up and down you know i'm gonna get motion sickness and i kind of feel that way right now and i the lady was like, um, there's this lady, she's, she's awesome, her name is Trudy, or, is her name Trudy? Yeah, true, I, I think it's Trudy, um, she's our trainer, and she was like, oh, if you have any questions, please ask if you need help, uh, just ask if there's anything wrong, you know, just let me know, you know, blah, 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 and I went and told her, like, yo, like, I have a bad back, um, sometimes I need to stretch out my leg and, um, you know, like, how do you go on telling, uh, you know, someone that's the boss of you, someone that's training you, someone that's a, the manager of you, you keep telling them like, oh, like I get dizzy spells, I get headaches and my back hurts and my leg hurts and I need to sit down, I need to stretch out. Um, I need to go to the bathroom. I'm about to throw up. Like, how the fuck do you, like, it's gonna tell them that you are incapable of working there. So, I am quite worried about it. Um, I do kind of want to give it a chance, like, completely. But I'm just, I'm fucking worried, you know, like, them just being, like, well, tough. You know, either tough it out or you go home. I was asking a chick, like, um, 
you know, I do have a bad back. I just need to sit down for a full minute or two and I can get back up and start. And the conveyor belts, they go incredibly slow. So that helps, you know what I'm saying? Um, it was very patchy today. Like the, the conveyor belts, they weren't like, you know, rolling by so fast. And, you know, it's 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 quite steady, but it's like... I can only imagine the holidays, right? Like, I can only imagine that shit. Um, But I was asking her, I said, um, you know, could I sit down for a minute or two? And she was like, yeah, you can. She's like, because I know your situation. You're telling me about your back and your leg and all of those things. She said, but don't let this certain manager, I guess he's the head honcho, um that if he's if he's walking around and if he sees you sit down he'll tell you to go home and it's like okay so i gotta look out for this dictator named (laughs) so-and-so and it's like okay um i don't know if i could work in a way where like yo i I could work a truck, but only a truck. Because if I do this up and down, spinning around, I'm going to throw up in a truck. Or I'm going to throw up on, you know what I'm saying? Like the the walkway or something. And I don't want to have to do that. Um, And a security guard, um, there's this guy that works with us too. He came in with us. Um, His name is Zach. He's a cool dude. Like we just, we just talked for a minute walking out the door but the security guard he was just like um like no cell phones or whatever and we're just like okay goddamn you know but it's like one of the trainers had her cell phone so it's like and then as we're taking our stuff he was just like not my rules and it's just like there's a fucking way and (laughs) I try to open a door to the security thing and it was locked and I was like what the fuck and then He just unlocks it, but he doesn't bother to open the door. Like, he just unlocks it and walks away. And I'm just like, fucking asshole. And then um, the guy, Zach, was laughing. And I was just like, God, I can't fucking stand his ass. And then that's when he said about the um, cell phone. And I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. And then I, I held the door open. The security guard walks out after me. And it's just like, you can't open a door for me, but I'm over here opening a door for you. Like, oh, my God, get the fuck out of here. Like... And then Zach comes out after, and I was like, oh, my God, I fucking hate him. But anyway, so um, I don't know how this is going to work because I I have a headache right now. Um, I had to sign one last paperwork just in case, like, if I get hurt that um, I'm giving them permission to call in their doctors or them to send me to their preferred doctors or whatever. So I signed that. And, um, I need to get my shit together, man, because even though it's, it's not like, it is strenuous, don't, don't get me wrong, like, the very first package that Christine handed to me after she scanned it, I almost broke my fucking arm. I, I, I misjudged how heavy it was because, you know, this girl, she's, she's, uh, quite tiny and she's handing me a fucking large box and it's heavy and I was like holy shit you know and it's just I was like oh my god okay and uh yeah and I'm not good with numbers yo like I mean some of you guys that tune into my other podcast the Wire Run podcast the Re-Up podcast and Audie's Art podcast um you would hear me talk every now and then about how I fucking suck at math I suck at numbers and um you know, I'm trying to get everything down, but, you know, it's kind of like, yo, is all of this, you know, like, um, you know, the ways that I talk myself out of stuff, right, is, is to me, is my own logic, right? So it's like, if I have all of these issues, these, these sicknesses, ills, you know, I'm not, the only thing that I could kind of control is the physical. I don't know how I'm going to do with um, the motion sickness part. Uh, with my head feeling stuffy, um, you know, needing to, like, sit down now and again. It's just, you know, I just, like, I'm just appearing like I'm too, like, frail to do the job. 
but I'm it, it's almost like okay am I willing to do all of these things right and go through all these feelings all this sick the, these the, the sickness that I'm feeling um you know the physical work of you know like having to to work four trucks at a time um and they're extremely large boxes and you have to sort them and you have to you know organize them for the driver um is all of that you know and you get no breaks you get no lunch time there's no fucking break room um you know you have to keep going non-stop for five hours and I was admiring this this woman. Um, I didn't. I, I never, you know, talked to her. Didn't really like meet her or whatever. But like, she was working two trucks. And after us leaving, it's either her or the other chick on the other side of us working. Um, it's like okay, one of these females is gonna take over our truck. So it's like they're going back to working like three trucks and that's probably why the belt was running so slow you know what i'm saying so that they can snag all of the boxes and you know throw them in the trucks and organize them or whatever um and it's like i'm my mind is not built for the movement and i say that in a way because of my motion sickness um i'm gonna try to um, I know they have those seasick pills. I'm going to try to see what's up with those, do some research on it, um, see if it's something that's okay for me to have um, because I, I don't want to give up. I really don't. You know, for me, it's like I can get back into walking. I can get back into running. I can go back into, you know, I wasn't really like into weightlifting, but I did do weights. Um, and I don't start... Um, my schedule is from Sunday to Thursday, but she told me to come in went uh, Monday, so I have an extra day to, you know, um, work myself out right um, at the gym. So, oh my God, I'm just like, uh, like I'm starting to calm the hell down, but it's like, yeah, I'm kind of going on this rant. Like, it's it's just worrisome to me. Um, I don't want to give up. I don't want to let. Trudy down I don't want to let Christine down um because those are the two women that I was working with um the most today um and it's almost like I want to help out my teammates too you know because Christine she's really cool right and if we ever like team up together or you know if we're working trucks side by side it's like we would have each other's backs and I I wouldn't want to you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I don't want to let her down. Like, if she's if she needs help, you know, carrying, um, you know, loading a package from the conveyor belt to the truck, she's gonna need help, and I want to be able to do it. I mean, not just her, but like just anybody that needs help. If they're just like, hey, you know, like, can you help me? And it's like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. I want it to be no problem. I don't want to have to worry and think like, oh, I hope nobody asks me for my help because I'm like so uh, physically and and you know just unable to do it that's an embarrassment man um I don't know about how you guys feel but that's the way that I feel um and that's just good work ethics you know and I just want to do a good job I really do um I'm sick of applying at Amazon I'm sick of just things happening with me at Amazon it just it it just mm, like I I don't want to feel like I have to go back to that um, I love deliveries, but it, I need, I need a change, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I feel like this is a good opportunity. They have great benefits. Um, I love the fact that they're into like volunteering and, you know, I want to be a part of that. Like I want to, I want to do this and I just really, I, I got to get back tip top, man. Like I, I just do, I just have to. So, um, I got three days off, which is, um, it's great. You know, I could use the extra time to, uh, do something, make some moves, you know, but, um, yo, I'm about to give me some Starbucks, yo. Um, I drink like, um, what is this? I drink like three cups of water. Um, this is my 
second time filling up my um what that was this my tumbler or whatever so i just yeah like i'm just i need to do shit i need to do shit Alrighty, so um that is it for this episode oh my gosh um again i didn't go to the gym yesterday i was hella tired i was tired and sleepy oh my gosh it was just nuts no reason for it um yeah and (laughs) don't get me started on what i'm eating that that fucking has to change too but yeah there's definitely uh no no time to eat well trudy she ate a banana uh (laughs) on on the belt right and so i'm like okay so I could have, like, my little applesauces. I could take a bite of my sandwich. Um, you know, like, fuck, might as well just have a whole ass picnic (laughs) on the truck, you know? Like, but it's like, I don't want to do that. Like, I just want to, you know, just, just head on through, you know? Like, just, just be, just be, um, inspired and motivated to do what all these other workers do and i know they've some of them been there for months some years and it's just i i I like to admire them and i like to watch them work because it's just like man i can't wait to get to that point where where two trucks three trucks maybe four trucks maybe it's pushing it but like like I'm going to get there. Like, I want to get to that point. And I'm going to look forward to it. I'm going to work hard for it. Um, But I just don't want my headaches, my um, motion sickness. Like, I don't want my back to give out or my leg to give out. Like, I don't want to hurt myself for sure. Like, and getting in and out of those trucks. Like, you know, you just don't want shit to go wrong or to go bad. And I was only on, I was only doing that for maybe like a, like an hour and a half to two hours. And look at how the fuck I'm feeling right now. It's just like, oh my gosh. Okay. You know, I I don't want to be negative. I'm going to fix that. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to do my research on, on those motion sickness pills or whatever the fuck will help me. I'm willing to do that. All right. So, um, even if I have to bring my mask um you can put it like in the freezer it's like one of those um those gel mask things that you put over your eyes fuck man i will take that thing with me to work and like i would just fucking lay out in the back of the truck with my fucking ice mask on (laughs) and bring my booty cheek man you guys don't even know about the booty cheek man like even that i'll fucking bring you know like i have to think of alternatives that's gonna keep me going all right so i'll let you guys know (laughs) i'm pretty sure that when we come in on monday uh yeah i'm gonna bring all of that shit with me i'm gonna bring all of that shit with me best believe i'm gonna look like a whole ass fucking pink ninja turtle in there with my fucking eye mask on (laughs) i love you all thank you all so much for pressing play don't forget to add rate comment subscribe follow and share and um yeah if i have anything to say about my w2 throughout my days off i will kick on the mic and we're gonna chalk about it all right i love you all peace